Hello and welcome to my wife's kitchen where we learn geology. So today's lesson is going to focus on layers of the earth and what happens to them when they're subjected to compressive forces. So the layers that we have here represent an old layer in red, a middle-aged layer in yellow, and a very young layer in green. What I'm going to do is uh, subject this, as I mentioned, to a compressive force and watch what happens. Just kidding, I wasn't really pressing that hard. Uh, and what would happen if we, if this were actually deep inside the earth and buried down deep enough that we could actually get the rock to bend and not break, is we'd probably get formations that look something like this. And you probably recognize these from geology class. And what we've got is uh, an anticline, a syncline, and an anticline. And if you remember, we, we can remember these because this is kind of A-shaped. This is the sin bin here and we've got another anticline over here. All right, so slowly over millions and millions of years, rem remembering that this formed deep inside the earth, it might lift slowly, and as it approaches the surface, it's probably gonna weather off. And if it weathers off smoothly, uh, which I'm gonna simulate by cutting with this knife, let's just see the kind of formation that we might find on the surface of the earth if I cut this straight. So if I've done this right, we might end up with Oopsie. We might end up with uh, parallel lines that would actually show up on the surface of the Earth. So at the surface we would see something like this, and these parallel lines would simply represent uh, the different layers of the Earth, and, um, uh, and that would be the pattern that we would see at the surface. Okay, if we're going to put strike and dip symbols on here, we would put the strike and dip symbol like this, whoops, and it would look kind of like this, where the strike is the line that is perpendicular to the dip. The dip angle representing the angle at which this fault uh, or this, um, this uh, separation between these two layers angles down at. And you can see that it slopes this way, so we can draw the dip line like this. The strike line is in line with the fault, perpendicular to the dip, and it's also a horizontal line at the surface. So that would represent strike and dip for that particular uh, fault line. If we went to this side, we would see that it would look like this. And that pretty much sums up uh, anticlines and synclines. We would presumably have another layer under here, uh, which we could probably, we could put a, another layer, an even older layer underneath like that, just to show that there would be something certainly underneath here. Uh, okay, any questions? All right, go on to the next one in just a minute. Don't go away.